Coyote Show. And it's another new hour of insensitivity training for a politically correct world. It's Tuesday morning. It's April the 9th, the day after the eclipse. <laughs> what a day. <nice. laughs> I'm giving everybody today. Fun. You can get all yeah. your eclipse reaction stuff done today, and then we can like move on, right? Looking at it was so much cooler than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's I was like, oh, crazy. wow, this is really cool. I mean, I didn't stand out there and uh-huh. stare at it for oh, I, forever. I, mm-hmm. I was watching a bunch of clips, like ABC News was posting stuff. Oh, yeah, I watched that, too. ABC News was doing, like, all across the country at different times. Yeah. So you could watch each like different New city's Year's eclipse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh-huh. That's I felt bad thing. for the overcast ones. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The thing that I saw was, you know, they had people in Mexico, and mm-hmm. they're all staring up in the sky with no glasses, nice. no nothing. They're mm-hmm. like, oh, my God, it's beautiful. Let's look at it. I'm like, <laughs> what Did are you the doing? Did the word not get out? <laughs> yeah. So, again, today... We can uh, we can discuss the reaction, and I got a couple things to share. But then after today, you guys, it's, it's over. You're it, done. It's, it's over. Don't want to hear about, hear about the it. sun. Shut up about the sun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> From the office. What a great show. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. So it's a uh, it's the Woody Show. We got cart narks coming up for you this oh, hour. Boy. Agent C Bass. He was doing some international cart narking here recently in uh, in New Zealand. They do have a problem over there, unfortunately. They yeah, do. jerks. That's true. A lot of folks mm-hmm. think, oh, in Europe they have all, all they use the all the coin and chain system, which for folks who don't know, if you haven't been to Aldi, the that's the Roldy. <laughs> you put a quarter in, right, and it pops out, or a euro in their case, yeah, and it pops open a chain, which allows you to get your cart, and then you take your cart back and you get your quarter back. Well, they don't have that in New Zealand. Oh, it is for a free for all. And what do they what do they call carts? Uh, trolleys. Yeah, anything, oh, trolleys. Trolleys. <laughs> anything in the, uh, the Queen or King's uh, domain is trolley. yeah. a trolley. But yeah. isn't New Zealand like the rednecks of the area? Uh, rednecks of the area. Yeah. <laughs> rednecks of the region, maybe? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oceania? Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say so. It was, I got a, I mean, I, stay, I stayed in the city, Auckland mostly, so I got I got a pretty inter, you know, intercontinental sort of vibe. Like, okay. It was pretty average. Okay. Well, Cartnark's coming up for you this hour. Reb. Uh, Google searches for my eyes hurt skyrocketed right after my the eclipse ended hurt. yesterday. <laughs> oh, Peaked around 3.20 p.m. Eastern just as the uh, eclipse was maxing out on the East Coast. Uh, mm. Also searches for why do my eyes hurt also up. Mm. Uh, if you did stare at the eclipse, a list of symptoms to look out for like headaches, blurred vision, a blind spot in one or both eyes. Great. Now, awesome. Ravi was talking about how it was a lot cooler than she than she thought. The coolest thing that I saw, NASA posted footage from the space station of the full shadow passing over the earth. That was pretty cool. Okay. But my my favorite video that I saw was this weatherman from Mississippi. He traveled to Dallas with his family. His name's David Hartman. And uh dude, he nerded out hard. <laughs> he got really <laughs> He got, like, all emotional watching this. Well, we are almost to totality here. The skies have cleared off. The temperature is already dropping. I get emotional. This is just unbelievable. <laughs> so Think beautiful. how this works. The moon is 400 times smaller than the sun, and the sun is 400 times further away. It makes this possible. And we're just about to totality here. In the next minute, we're looking for the diamond ring. Here we go. It's just about to go total. Look for the look for the diamond ring. Oh my God. <laughs> and the temperature is so there it is. That's the diamond ring right there. <laughs> nice. Look at the diamond ring. Look at it. Oh, look there. There's a small cloud and you see a halo. Oh look at that. <laughs> the diamond ring is still you can still see the diamond ring. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my God. And there it is. That's the sun's <laughs> atmosphere. You're looking at the corona of the sun. Yeah. That's the sun's atmosphere. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Look at my nice. boner. <laughs> right. That's awesome. No, look away from my boner. <laughs> look, look at the eclipse. Yeah, my boner, you can see anytime. Yeah. Oh, shit, get uh, These eclipses, they only happen so that's often. That's right. Uh, get your eyes on uh, that. Which I get why that's cool for like science nerds and yeah. for kids. But, Raby, yeah. do, do you not remember where you were in 2017? I mean, I guess I've never had a pair of glasses and looked up at it. It's cool. Last time I, you just said nah. I, I ignored it. Didn't I care. got caught up in eclipse hype. 
<laughs> yeah, like, oh, stupid. And, I don't and, know it. and took a look, and I was like, "All right." I remember when it's I was a neat. kid in elementary school; it was such a big deal. It was, like, yeah, making all yeah, made those, like the devices and those stuff. things. Yeah, yeah. That would shine cool. on the that paper. Cool. Whole box. It was fun. Look at it that way. You mentioned uh, Woody, like people not using glasses. I was watching the um, World News Tonight with David Muir, mm-hmm. and he was like looking into it when it was at full. Uh, totality is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, well, that would be just and, darkness, right? Yeah. And so he didn't have glasses on then. Well, I thought uh, you still had to have you could it take the them whole off time. at some yeah. point. I don't know when that would yeah. be because I, I, I did see a couple of videos like, all right, at mm-hmm. this point, you could take your glasses off. I'm like, nah, dog. Yeah. I would just yeah. Not chancing. I, I think if I'm staring up there, I'm just gonna, you know, play it safe and that, just keep them on. That's what I thought, but yeah, he didn't have his glasses it's, on. Once yeah. it hits totality, you can take your glasses off, but then once you start to see the sun again, you have to put them right back. Yeah, because again, you're not mm-hmm. supposed to ever stare no. at the sun. And yeah. why would you? No ever. matter what day it is. <laughs> yeah, no matter what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you stare at the sun long enough today, you're probably yeah, you gonna sure. have some at least you're temporary have some eye spots, problems. and you're gonna be looking up. Why do my eyes hurt? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think um, what I like about it is that it's not a polarizing topic. It's just the universe. It's yeah, nature. everybody it's is like, cool. oh, this is pretty cool. Yeah. In uh in Philly, there were some people that showed up because they wanted to get married during the eclipse. And it was oh such an God. awkward oh, interaction. I love oh. this clip so much. <laughs> yeah. It was this awkward interaction. The the, the guys getting the reporters getting the uh, the name wrong. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. From both the bride and the groom. And then it's just like they got this weird, really weird story because it's like, oh. oh, why do you want to uh why get married? For the eclipse, and they went this really cheesy story. Yes, a wedding has broken out at a solar eclipse. Broken out. Carly, Hello. right? Carla. Carla, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Preschool teacher. Okay, you live in uh, Maryland. In Maryland. Hey, Kyle. Kevin. Like, like I said, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's like an SNL sketch. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, they were so awkward. I thought it was set up. Oh yeah. 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 yeah all right, but no, yeah. it was legit. Hey Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, hey Barbara. Uh, sorry, it's Mary. Yeah. Yes, a wedding has broken out at a solar eclipse. <laughs> Carly, uh, right? Carla. Carla, what do you do for a living? Preschool teacher. Okay, you live in uh, Maryland. In Maryland. Hey, Kyle. Kevin. Like I said, Kevin. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> and here's the groom. Okay, Hello. what do you do for a living? Oh, I work at Giant. I do the overnight stocking, and I run the store in after hours. But you came here for the uh, solar eclipse. Correct. Right. Okay, to get married during the eclipse. Absolutely. Well, the eclipse is happening right now above us. We just can't see it. Why did you want to do this during the eclipse? Well, I call her my... Moonrise sunflower, and I'm her wild sunshine. <laughs> so the idea of the moon and the sun uniting in the sky and on Earth at the same time just seemed perfect to us. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Oh, yuck. Oh, oh God. It is sweet, though. It's a cute idea. Yeah, they... the tail end of that? No. At all? No, it's so funny because then he wraps it up and he's like, well, I mean, there's some, uh, some uh, brighter news there. Right, because they couldn't even see it. Right, yeah. because it's too cloudy. And then the person back in the studio is like, "Yeah." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You ever been walking down the street and a wedding breaks out? It's kind of scary. It's weird. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh my god! A woman in Florida was shooting at cars on the highway. She blamed it on the eclipse. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, she hit two crazy. people. Nobody died. Thank God. But, uh, yeah, she was just eclipsing out. It was the eclipse's <laughs> fault. Freaking out. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Anything with your chakras or anything else yesterday, Sammy, that you noticed? Yeah, I forgive her. <laughs> Nothing that I noticed, but we will feel the effects of this eclipse for the next six months. How so? Yeah, right. Explain <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Well, because that's what eclipses do. Eclipses <laughs> eclipse things out like of your life. So it's like endings and new beginnings at the same time. And that will unfold over the next six months. So what should I do? So you mean like so you know, just everyday kind of life? There's nothing you can do. Huh? It's, like, you can do. it's just happens. It's, so. So it's kind of like you're not supposed to stare at the sun any day, mm-hmm. right? Not just during an eclipse, right? Because it could cause eye damage. And kind of like things happen and people come in and out of your life, just in regular life, sure. even when there wasn't an eclipse. Sounds now we big. just get to at least blame it on the eclipse because right. things were, yeah. Because mm-hmm. things Do we blame and like end. anything stupid we do on the eclipse for like six months? No, we it doesn't have, a have to do excuse? with what we do. That's the point. It's no. not an excuse and it's not what we do. It's something that's going to happen that you have no control over. So why so d- mention it? 
Wait, so you're talking about people being, you know, eclipsed out of your life. Right. Right? But that, that happens. Sort of like thing. relationships but it can begin be anything. and it end can and everything. It can be jobs, else. it can be whatever. And that's the and that's the result of the eclipse. Right. Eclipses. Right. <laughs> eclipse, eclipses speed things up. So something that maybe you thought you would do two years from now and stuff like that, the eclipse will make it happen sooner than you anticipated. It's like so magic. It might How? not be like out of the blue necessarily. How? Like let's say you were uh, going to retire and you end up retiring two years earlier than you thought. You knew that was something that was going to happen. But that's the eclipse. The eclipse. And that's the eclipse. Mm-hmm. But how did the eclipse? Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. how you just that, say this stuff what? so confidently. <laughs> that's what. That's not how. Yeah. Yeah. Like how does that happen? Like what, like what does the eclipse have to do with that? I mean, how does that make it go or happen faster? How does that speed up your retirement plan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was just one example. It could be a number. If you were going to break up with somebody, if I you understand were down that, that, but yeah. how? Like, in other words, how does the eclipse make that with, happen? With solar energy. I understand the yeah, it's thing. the universe at work. But how? You, you, okay. <laughs> so I, I'm glad that we got to this point right here. Hold on. I, 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 I'm glad that we finally got to this point right now because, okay. Sammy, you're a very nice person. And I really <laughs> like you. But you're very But simple. I think we've entertained this enough times where we get to this point in the conversation where there's no explanation. I know, but I'm right. And then so we should stop entertaining it. No, because for some time. Oh, no, I find it very entertaining. <laughs> yeah, Do you? Because, because we always yes. get to the same point. No, no, because. Like, why? For and some then of the, well, because no it can't answer. be explained, though. That is known about that kind of stuff is that y- there's no. <laughs> It seems like every There's single no thing can't point. be explained. No, because some of the, because some of them she does have some kind of reasoning behind whether you know it, it, we when? believe it, which is we don't. But like she sometimes will go, oh well, it's because X Y Z. In this particular case, it's just eclipse. Right. Well, you know, eclipse. It speeds things up. <laughs> See, like these George other... Nori has built an entire show <laughs> right. around this right here. Right. You, love this. you love listening to this crap when you're high. I, I do, but like there seems to be. There was there's always like an ending, not just uh, oh, uh, um, that's just the way it yeah, is. Yeah, just the way it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> right. like we, we hear, we always get to the same point in the conversation. Correct, because it's all nuts, and I right? love it. It's all nuts. At and least then, with but, the UFO talk, the you oh. know the UFO left. You know, there's an ending to the story. <laughs> <laughs> it flew uh-huh. away. It flew it, away. It space business to attend <laughs> Not to. just because oh, what did it do? I don't know. Just, just you know, it is. It, I just, like that we have six months of. Because of the eclipse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, we're still getting the blame things on COVID. Yeah. Uh, right, oh, exactly. You know, the, rest of the after effects of COVID-19. <laughs> what this is, it's a it's a profound lack of critical thinking. And, but, and I, I'm, but like Ravy, I enjoy watching <laughs> yes. it unfold in action. Yes, I do too. I love it. Because I don't, I mean, I've heard about people like Sammy, but I've, I've never really. You've never been in a room with one. I, That's I, what I was saying. Right. I've, I've never really been witnessed or, or knew somebody personally. Yeah. Well, now you do. It's exciting. Do. <laughs> and to answer your question, I man, blame I, it on the eclipse. Yeah. I think our goal is eventually to like snap her brain, where she's like, "Oh, oh yeah, you know what? That's stupid." <laughs> well, but I because I do believe that the universe is at play with things that happen. So I okay. Don't know. So I believe in karma, right? I can't explain it, mm-hmm. but I do believe it's a thing. Like right. you know, you do good things, good things come to you. Or yeah, not, I like. Or it. vice versa. Yeah, but not to do them so things come back to you. I just I just think that, you know, it just feels like it's the right thing to do. Or like the universe works in a weird way. I told the story about how, um, you know, I got a job very close to, you know, home where my mom was. And then within a couple months, she got, you know, diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And I was there and then got a different job offer that I really wanted to take, but I wasn't going to take it because my mom was going through treatment. And just as I was getting and thinking and considering this option, uh, my mom came to me and said that she was in remission. I was there for the, just the right amount of time. So can I explain that? I really can't explain that. Right. But because I went through that, I do believe that there is some kind of weird universe thing. Yeah. I can't explain it. Like I said, by the way, but it does sound absolutely bat-ish crazy when you're sitting there <laughs> talking about for the next six months, the eclipse. Yeah. I can't explain why. I know it sounds it's very- lead to friend breakups. <laughs> right. Or... It sounds so like, you know, not hypocritical, but you know what I mean? Like- um, it's conflicting. It is. Yeah. Conflicting. yeah, for sure. And it's a mm-hmm. lot of, I guess, like pattern based and looking for things. I mean, yeah, because you can go, oh, it's attributed to that. And then someone could go, oh, no, it's a coincidence or, oh, no, it doesn't. I mean. Well, that's. We'll never know. You read, yeah. Right. You, I mean, but you also can't necessarily, I mean. Let's just say keep it's it wrong so vague. if I want to believe it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the thing when you read these books about conspiracy theorists and breaking their psychology is it's it's an over overuse of our pattern because as humans we want to recognize patterns right. for survival yeah. oh that's an animal that's where water you know 
that you know this is dangerous. That's dangerous. Yeah. That's healthy, etc. And they say a lot of conspiracy theorists and, and stuff like astrology, because astrology, by the way, is based on. Uh, those stars kind of look like a, a crab, but not really at all. Right, right, <laughs> yeah, right. It's right, kind right. of a pattern in the sky. And they say that's our... Like the, the Rorschach test or like what exactly. the ink blots tell me what you yeah, see. Yeah. And, so, and so like it was the overuse of, uh, the wrong use of our pattern recognition. And then people, you know, end up like Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think everybody is looking for patterns constantly, whether it's similar to other people or not. Like this, ha- yeah, falls into a category that a lot of but other see, people. But then they make mm-hmm. up stuff that has no like when we. Like, walk- I guess it's whatever makes you feel better about your situations. Like people who are coming in and out of your life. If you want to blame right. them on the eclipse, so be it. Yeah. It's nuts, but you know if it makes well, you feel better. I mean, I feel that way about religion. If it makes I'm people nuts, feel but- better, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it sounds crazy to me. Hear but these you know, stories about moving ribs endings. and walking on water. Yeah, and stuff such like as blocking. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is a way to the process sort of brightness. life and what's going on. Sure, for sure. it's a way to yep. do it. Yeah, yep. you know, brightness and darkness. Oh yeah, but you gotta understand like how crazy it sounds to other people. Yeah, but it, I mean, again, do you if it's a way that, that? no, nope. I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what I think is that a lot of people, whatever, like you gravitate towards anything in your life that interests you because that's how you understand how to process certain things. So I can gravitate towards astrology and you can go, that's crazy. And then someone can gravitate towards Star Wars or sports or this. And a lot of it still is though, like pattern recognition or things that they like see, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, mean my Star Wars me? patterns have been going since 1977. Have you ever blamed right. Harry Potter on a breakup, Ravi? <laughs> <laughs> or vice versa, I should say. Probably, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's associate. a different house. I guess is yeah. the point. Wait, we but, just didn't match up. But, yeah. <laughs> but why waste your time if it has nothing to do yeah. with it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> And well. you want to end this menace? Are you crazy? Yeah, Are you high right now? Well, you know now? what he wants yeah. to do? He told me that uh, he's really into the whole honey boo boo drama. Oh, and, like, yes. Are we following that? I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dude, there's major drama. Oh. Spill the tea, menace. Wow. Right. <laughs> yeah. Shut up about the sun. Yeah. Shut up about the sun. The Woody Show.